Hi everyone. In the last video, we discussed the basic concepts of the crawler, uh, like how we could pull the uh, nodes with the specific classes, um, and we also looked at uh, how we can re retrieve the first or last nodes of uh, any each uh, uh, match list. So today we will be discussing a, a bit more uh, deep concept. Uh, how to loop through different uh, nodes like if we have a scenario where we could have uh, multiple uh, nodes so how we can loop through them so today we'll discuss that topic so let's go ahead and let's see let's uh, let's say we have a scenario like we have a, a category of products there could be a number of products and we would like to see the prices of each of the product So we will actually go to the category page and then we will see how we can uh, retrieve the prices of the products uh, in the category page. So let's say this is our category page so we will actually try to uh, scrape this link so we will just go ahead and change this link to a category link and then uh, I'll just remove this code. say that uh, we just want to see uh, how we can retrieve our products list so I'll just go ahead and uh, inspect and so this is a list item we have and we will see like how we will uh, target these nodes so first point of entry is like we have a um, UL a list uh, on order list and then we have like this products uh, class and then each product class has its own uh, sub product class so we will see uh, which are the repeating classes in in this list so we will basically target all those so if i just go and find so first point of entry will be we are looking for an order list which has a class products and then in within this class we will be targeting the mm, list item which has a class product. just press five six so i think we are able to retrieve this uh, data so let's try to loop through this data so we will just go ahead and we will try to so the same way we will just apply the filter uh, method and then in this method we will just paste our rules so instead of uh, getting the first or last we will just uh, use the each function each will be like uh, it's like a php for each loop so in this uh, this loop actually uh, accepts an anonymous function so this function uh, has two parameters so the first parameter uh, is uh, the node itself whatever node it's found so in this case this is this is the one which uh, we are looking at so it will be finding this node so we can either name it ally or whatever we like to name it the second will be actually the uh, counter or you can say index of that uh, uh, node so basically it's like an array so it will give us uh, indexes starting from 0 1 2 3 4 5 for all the number of uh, list items it's able to find so if if I try to uh, uh, print the data let's see what we get so let's try to print out the product title so we will just try to uh, grab this class or we can just say like uh, since it's not a very big data we can just target the h uh, h2 as well so we will just say uh, if uh, i'll just say ally and filter and to find the h2 tag and then we will just say uh, steps so if i print this data let's see what we get We got all the product names one thing if you see that I did not uh, look for the count so mm, the thing is uh, if uh, in, in this crawler if you get some if you want to retrieve something and uh, it, the tag does not exist 
or maybe like uh, it existed today but tomorrow they change their site structure and we are not able to find uh, uh, that specific tag so it will throw an exception one way is to either we should be catching the exception another way is we can uh, uh, we can either like uh, just uh, use the count function first uh, and the third way is like this text uh, uh, method actually accepts a default parameter so we could actually pass something into it so that um, so that uh, it does not give us any kind of exception or something so let's try to make this error so let's say we were trying to give instead of h2 we were giving h3 what will happen so when we try to retrieve the h uh, it actually uh, h3 when it gave us an exception which said that the current node list is empty and it said invalid argument exception so to get rid of this problem one way is either we could mm, put our try catch so we can actually put this inside our try catch uh, or we can either print the message or do nothing or like we don't want to do anything so if I just run it again it will not give us any data but it will not give us any error either one way is to just catch it another way is we can just we can just uh, uh, put a count on it uh, so let's say rule we can put a rule history and then we can use if dollar list of status of rule of count so if the count exists only then we will actually print our value so now it won't give us an exception because if it this h3 exists only then it will give us the data if it doesn't exist it will not give us anything so if i let's just go and put in back to h3 it will give us data the third thing we can try is maybe we can get some default value so if it's not able to find that node we can return some default value so at least it should not be giving us any kind of exception so let's go ahead and try that example so let's say H3 tag, but if it is not found, we want to return something else, um, default value or something, default or something. Then it, instead of H3, it will start printing default, or we can just uh, let's let's see what happens if I just make it empty. So I'll just make it empty, and then so it, it is just printing us an uh, empty value. So this is maybe how we can go ahead. So let's say. Um, let's say uh, before uh, processing this data let's say we want to prepare an array of array where we will like to save these type of information and then later on we want to use it somehow wherever we want to save that information so let's say I want to create an array uh, where I would like to save all the data before processing it so I will just create an array so let's say I'll just create an array of products and I want to fill this data with whatever filters I'm applying and then later on I want to process this data so what I will do is I'll create an empty array and uh, I'll pass this array uh, as, uh, to my anonymous function using the use method uh, use property and here I will be passing by um, uh, reference so um, uh, once I pass this uh, uh, array I would like to add the uh, information to the uh, this product array so I will just first make a normal product and then inside this product I'll be like um, I'll call it product uh, underscore title inside this product title I will actually be pushing this data so uh, I'm looking for the h2 tag and then I want to save the product price as well so I'll just go ahead and copy paste this and I'll name it and then inside this product class I'll use the mm, so inside the ally I want to target a span uh, and then I want to target the ANS and I want to target the that's it I want to just receive the um, text whatever is inside so I'll just get the text and if you look at what I did here so make adding this uh, uh, arrow means angle bracket means that we want to retrieve only the INS tag 
which is the first child of this uh, ion ion so if there is any further INS tags which are actually inside this INS or somewhere else they will not be pulled but it will only be the first level uh, INS uh, tag so once I do this uh, I'll, once I have my data available I'll just uh, go ahead and I'll add this product to my uh, main product array which I created outside so once this data is So this is what we got. So for the first uh, three items, we actually got the data correctly, and we didn't get for the fourth one. Let's see why is that. So let's just unblock it again. So if we go ahead and if we look here, this did not actually have the uh, INS tag because it did not have any sale on it. So that means we will have to make a slight change into our rule, and instead of targeting the INS we should be targeting the just the price tag and then whatever last span we find from it so instead of INS we will just say let's see if I just inspect here uh, so we inside this uh, price we have two spans one span second span so we can safely say that we can actually be targeting the uh, last span which has this class who comes price amount so let's see if we have the same one here as well so if I go here so here as well so we have this uh, who comes price amount and we want to just pull the last one so I'll just go ahead and make this change so instead of INS tag I will be targeting the uh, span inside my list item which has a class who comes price amount Inside the span of price, span of price, the span which has a price, we will actually um, pull or uh, target the another span tag which has a class who comes price amount. And since this is repeating for the um, INS tags here, so we will just make sure we are pulling the last one. So once I target the last one, let's see what we get. So this time let's see if the prices decrease as I press on no. So it's 18, 55, 69 and 90. So this data is pulled correctly. So now that we have learned that we can how we can loop through the uh, list items. Um, the benefit of uh, DOM crawler is that we can just use the same uh, CSS styles on it. Yeah, so this is done. Uh, there is another uh, concept I wanted uh, to share. Uh, that is sometimes uh, there is a scenario like uh, let's say if I go to some product, this one, and I wanted to retrieve the description of this page only. So. Um, sometimes there is a scenario like from some nodes we don't want to retrieve everything from it we only want to retrieve either the first one second one third one or fourth one or there could be a scenario where we only want the odd numbers or the even numbers so this is also achievable in DOM crawler so we will see how we can achieve that one so let's say I want to retrieve the odd and even numbers so I'll just go ahead I will actually uh, just uh, let's say if I select this level change and I will just like that and let's say how do we achieve this so if I go ahead and I check what I want to achieve so I am actually looking for description and we already found an id tag description so let's see and let's hope there is no error on this page and we only have one id so let's check so we only have one id and from within this id i only want to target the p tags so what i will do is i'll go and target the tag description 
function as an id and i want to target the key tags inside this so else let's see if we'll see any data So we got uh, four paragraph tags. Now mm, there could be a scenario for some time of some type of logic where we don't want uh, all fours. And we only want either the odd numbers or the even numbers. So let's see how we can uh, achieve this. Uh, but before that, another thing I want to say is the try catch thing which I mentioned earlier. Um, like if the node does not exist, it will throw an error. Uh, if we don't pass this default value but in case of uh, looping the data we, we won't get any such kind of errors if it's not available it will not loop through that data so we don't have to worry about that exception but still if you want you can create a try catch exception outside of it uh, anyway back to this topic so if we want to uh, skip a few nodes uh, e even or on nodes so there is a, another function called reduce uh, which we can apply before the looping so reduce function will actually reduce the nodes which we don't want in our um, which we don't want uh, uh, to use so we will do that by using that function so let's say i want to reduce so reduce will actually also have the same kind of uh, parameter So let's say we don't want to uh, get the even number of nodes, so we will just return uh, z. Uh, uh, so we will just return false for it. So we only want to return true or false from here uh, based on what we want. So let's say if we want some node, we will return true for it. If we don't want some node, we will return false for it. So uh, one thing we need to know is that this uh, index starts from zero, not from one. So if we want uh, uh, even number of uh, paragraphs we need to um, get the remainder of the odd and if we want the odd we, it's the other way around so let's say i want to retrieve the odd number of nodes so i will do i'll get remainder of the even number and if the remainder of even number uh, is true then we will return uh, uh, true from here so this will give us the um, actually uh, odd numbers instead of even so let's see what So this time we got the odd numbers even though the rule we wrote is actually uh, related uh, related to even but the data we are getting is odd the reason is this index is actually starting from zero so uh, that's why this uh, remainder rule works the other way around so um, this is how so if we want to retrieve the even number of nodes we will just make it not equal and then it will give us the This is how we can retrieve the even num even nodes from this whole and then we are just getting such a null port. So this uh, this is something which could be useful uh, depending on seeing your scenario, but this is something handy to have. So I hope this concept is clear. Um, another concept I wanted to share was sometimes there is a scenario where we do not want to target by id or class we just want to target by some specific attribute so we can do that as well let's say we want to target this tab panel so let's just see if this is available in our view source oh, i just want to show the concept okay yes this is available in my view source so let's say I want to retrieve all the div tags uh, which have this uh, role tab panel. So how we will do that? We will actually target the attribute. So we will just see. We need, a, we need to filter a crawler which has a div tag 
with attribute uh, road equals cabs I mean so let's see how many cars is this so we got two so that works so we can also target a specific node based on any of the attributes we get sometimes there could be a scenario where uh, we do not want to provide the full name of that attribute so sometimes there could be uh, something in it which says uh, one two three four five like tap panel one tap panel two tap panel three that's why we, we are not sure that uh, which uh, what is the exact name of that attribute so we can partially match as well we can do so by adding an asterisk here so in asterisk once we add this uh, we don't need to give the full name we can just give it tab 2 or something like that and it will find any of the div tag which has the role which which has which contains this text so let's see what we get So we got this data tab two. Uh, we can uh, we can use uh, other kinds of uh, things as well. So we can get let's say I want something which ends with panel. Uh, so let's see if we have something like that. see it there but uh, what we can do is we can actually uh, pass the dollar here and we can just uh, mention uh, the text where it should be ending so let's say i want to retrieve a node which has a role which ends with panel so we will just add a dollar here instead of star so that means any uh, text which ends with panel inside the role attribute it should be picked so let's say So rightfully we got this data. Uh, same way we can do uh, uh, for any attribute value which starts with something we can do that as well. So let's say anything which starts with tab. So we'll just put tab here and then we will instead of saying dollar we'll just put uh, character and head character and let's see what we get. So we got that as well. So these are um, handy tips which could be useful to store further useful information. Uh, I hope this helps. Uh, I think that's all. Uh, let me see if I can get anything else. Sometimes there could be a scenario like where we do not want to target a specific node but we want to see um, all the children uh, within some some container. So let's say like if we want to retrieve all the um, tags which we receive within this uh, div tag uh, we will we can use a function called uh, children. So let's uh, let's see how we can do that. So I'll just start with this one. I'll target it by ID. So I'll go ahead. So, so we will actually um, loop through all the children of that tag. So we will just go and put the role dot tag description we do not want to specify any node so what we will do is uh, we will actually use that children and then we will do a tag tag and we will see what we get now so i will just print the text inside in every child we get so let's just print that So 
and this is how you get it so this is you can see like you can hash key tag and these are all the key tags so this is how you can do through all the children so instead of targeting a specific node you can also target the, all the children and you can loop through that and same way like we do children we can also do the parents as well so let's say uh, i'm looping in this loop could uh, go further down the level as well so i just want to know what who is the parent of that class uh, of that particular node so we can also find the parent as well so within the loop i can just uh, add this method parent and we can go each level of the map so let's say when this loop starts my first node is this node here if i write this parent here it will give me this parent tag go one level up by just writing parent again and it will just go one level up so if i say i want to know the class of the parent of my grandparent so this parent and then on top of it this parent and this uh, yeah so let's see i'll say of my parents of my parents and i just want to Each of the node which we loop through, we just wanted to see the parents of it. So all of them have the same parent, grandparent, this one. So it is correctly going one level up. So this could also be handy sometimes when you need to access the parents or the grandparents. So this is how we can achieve that as well. But this should be used if you are sure uh, what you are expecting. If you are not sure if it, it will have a parent, yes or no, like a grand, grand, grandparent then it's good to add a try catch uh, on around it so that you don't get any exception i hope uh, you like this video uh, if i have any more things to share i'll definitely create another version of this video um, for today i hope uh, all is clear uh, i'll come up with some more videos soon please like this video and subscribe to my channel thank you